Good morning everyone. So welcome back to your own channel that is we are in techno world. So uh, first of all, uh, I would tell you that I have created one separate playlist in case of we are in techno world. As you could see that one separate playlist I have been created for DCN subject that is data communication and network. So uh, like on a daily basis, you would get one new lecture into this playlist. So first of all, uh, like I would tell you the advantages of computer network because like uh, in the starting lectures, I have told you that what do you mean by computer network and what are the types of it. So uh, the different types of computer network has been discussed over there. After that, the networking devices have been uh, discussed in detail that what are the networking devices which are necessary to form the network, right? So for that purpose, I have uploaded one other lecture that is related to networking devices. Then in the third lecture, uh, like uh, I've, uh, I have shared one uh, lecture related to the differences between the types of network. Then uh, as soon as you know that uh, how many types of network we are having, then you must know that why we are learning this uh, DCN subject, right? Why we are forming this computer network, what are the advantages? And what could be the objective of computer network? So basically with the help of the computer network, we could connect multiple computers as this is the collection of one or more computer so that we could share the data, we could uh, like share the hardware devices and we could do the communication between more than one devices, right? So for that purpose, we just form this computer network. Now in detail, I would tell you that what are the advantages of this computer network, why we are learning this subject. So as you know very well, that computer network is a computer system. Uh, you could say that it's not a computer system. Computer network is a kind of system that connects many of the computer devices so that we could share the resources, we could communicate with each other uh, for saving the time as well as for the easiness of uh, like many of the people, right? So it enables data transmission sharing the information between the devices. So what could be the advantages of computer network? The first one is data and file sharing. What do you mean by it? Like data and file sharing means like uh, it provides the access to digital media such as computer, programs, electronic book or documents. And uh, the common methods of storage and transmission include manual sharing, utilizing the removable media and centralized servers on the computer network. One of the most important uses of networking is to allow the sharing of data. That means in case of that, what we could do, like uh, for example, uh, you could say in the earlier time, uh, for example, one accounting employee is there who wanted to uh, prepare a report. Or you could say like uh, his boss has given one file, like you just... Uh, maintain this file and uh, just show me on the after tomorrow, right? So the person or that particular employee has been prepared that report, right? Now he wants to uh, like show that report to his manager. Now what he would do? So for that purpose, what he has done, like he has uh, transferred that file into the pen drive. And after that, he has shown to his manager, so this is one uh, one uh, me like medium with the help of which he could show the data, right? In place of that, like if we are having the computer network, so what we could do? We could send that file onto his mail, right? And we could send that file onto the like uh, another uh, app, right? So that easily he could download that file and he could check that file onto his system, right? So uh, this is possible only with the help of computer network. Okay, we could easily share the data if we are having one good network. So this is all, all possible with the help of computer network. Now uh, the next advantage which we are having is hardware sharing. 
okay so hardware sharing means like uh, as you know that network facilitates or it gives the facility to us so that we could share one single device with many of the people right or you could say like we could share that device uh, with many of the computers for example like in case of the 40 employees we are having in one department and uh, in that department we have uh, one printer one color printer which is very expensive right so like uh, obviously uh, with the help of this color printer what we could do like everyone could take the print out so like uh, if we are having good computer network then obviously this computer uh, like this printer could be shared with all the 40 employees so this is possible with the help of computer network so this is one another advantage of computer network right so the first advantage the most common advantage was data sharing because with the help of computer network we could easily share the data as you could check the many of the examples like in case of data sharing we were having the example just like um, for example you have uh, gone for the interview right but you have forgotten your documents at home right now what to do you have to show the document over there now what you could do like you could ask to your parents like you just scan the document and send it to you and you could check the printer shop uh, around you and after that you could take the hard copy of that and you could show or uh, like uh, that file on to your interview right so this is possible only and only if we are having the computer network right if we would not have any kind of facility like this then obviously it would be very tough for us right for example uh, we could take one another example as well just like uh, uh, like uh, you wants to share the file with your friend which is out of outside india for example he is in usa right and you want to share one important doc with the with your friend or you could say with your family member right so it is not possible for you no like to book the ticket and to go over there to waste the time because every time it is not possible so in case of that what you could do with the help of computer network as we are having the wide area network right so with the help of that we could connect multiple countries and continents right so uh, what we could do we could uh, send that file we could scan that file and we could send to your to us to a friend which is outside india right so this is all possible with the help of computer network so that is why it is very very important and uh, if uh, in exams it would be asked like what are the advantages of the computer network why we are learning it what what is the importance of computer network so you could write these points so just like data sharing file sharing you could write hardware sharing right because in case of hardware for example you could see that there is one server and with the help of uh, this server we are just connecting multiple computers right uh not only these computers we are just connecting we are computing uh, we are uh, connecting more than two computers that means it could be 10000 it could be 1 uh, million computers right so the network could be very broad it could be so in hardware like sharing users can access the hardware devices like printer even though the hard disk could be shared the ram could be shared because obviously with the help of one computer or with the help of some softwares what we are we could do we could share the memory as well right so this is all possible with the help of computer network now the next advantage which we are having is user communication right so what do you mean by user communication uh, like with the help of computer network it is possible to communicate with the person who is not around you right so the the computer network allows us to communicate with the person right which is lo not locally available right and uh, he is uh, uh, like uh, outside to the uh, like campus you could say who is uh, who is not around you and he wants to communicate that person he wants to share uh, like he wants to talk with that person he wants to send some messages uh, to that person he wants to send some photos to uh, that person so it is possible with the help of computer network if we are having the availability of internet and if we are having a good network then obviously we could do so so this is one another advantage you could see right with the help of mobile phone even though with the help of computer with the help of laptop 
if we are having one good network then we could communicate with various persons in case of that you could take the example of social media network in case of social media network as uh, you could find your friends over there uh, as we are having the one uh, one uh, most of the common example in case of social media network this is facebook right so on to the facebook we are having one network of our friends right maybe the school friends the college friends as well as the office friends right so we are creating one network over there and uh, in case of social media network we are just connecting peoples we are just connecting peoples but in case of computer network we are just forming the network which is connected with multiple computers right so user communication or mean uh, user communication is one of the another advantage of computer network then in case of uh, like computer network we could have one another advantage that is cost reduction right how it could be like for example we are just sharing the resources right so if we are sharing one single resource with multiple persons maybe with 10000 persons maybe with 100 people right with the help of computer so if we are sharing the same resource with multiple people then any uh, how like what we are doing we are just reducing the cost right so it is very cheaper than the physical transportation if we are carrying anything in a physical manner then obviously it would take the transportation charges right but if we are sending it in a digital way right in a digital manner if we are sending then obviously it doesn't cost uh, any charge right only the uh, only we have to pay for the internet only right so internet uh, like this computer network gives us or reduce our cost then the next type of advantage is what that is time so uh, computer network reduces the time of sending any information anywhere in the world as it delivered the information faster than any physical transportation as in the previous point we have discussed as cost reduction right so if we are reducing the cost how we are reducing the cost because of the fast transmission right because of the fast transmission we are just reducing the cost because with the help of computer network in a very faster manner we could send any of the information whether it is it is a image file whether it is a video file whether it is a like doc file right any kind of file could be sent with 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 the help of computer network in a very fast manner right and if in place of that we would try to send it uh, like in a physical manner for example with the help of post with the help of speed post with the help of uh, like uh, courier obviously uh, it takes time right even though the cost would be charges over there right so a computer network is saving our time by sharing and transferring the file within the network okay so this is one another advantage and then the next advantage of computer network is network gaming or you could say entertainment how because uh, like if we are forming one lan network or if we are forming one uh, like wide area network so what could we could do we could take the facility of entertainment how with the help of games with the help of other uh, entertainment media right uh, just like for entertainment we are using the social media app just like instagram twitter right these all could be possible with the help of the network facility right even though if we just talk about the gaming right so multiple games are there which we could play with the like uh, uh, like with multiple users who are not in the same location right means virtually you could play the same game with different persons at different different destination or at different different locations right so how is it possible with the help of computer network just like pubg right in case of that like one person is uh, at another city and the another person is one another city right means multiple players are there and they are playing the game the play they are playing the same game they are playing the same game by having the same different different location as well as the different different network right so this is all possible with the help of computer network then we are having the next uh, advantage of computer network that is centralized software management what do you mean by it 
has centralized software management means like uh, one software has been uploaded into one computer right and now uh, like what we are doing we are just accessing that computer or we are just accessing that software from that pc right means like we are just uh, logging uh, we are just login with the help of the same user id and password into that system means multiple computers are being connected with that server right just like oracle server in case of that what we are doing which is uh, like the number of pcs which are in the lab obviously we are just uh, uh, like being logged in into that uh, uh, server with the help of username uh, with the help of same username and password right and means the every work is being done into that same machine so uh, in case of that we could take the example of banking as well like uh, in case of banking everything is centralized now right but in earlier time uh, the bank was not centralized if we just uh, do any of the transaction then it takes time to update it but in nowadays uh, like we could do the transaction we could deposit the money from any of the location from any of the bank so this is all possible with the help of centralization okay and with the help of computer network okay so this is all about computer network hope you have understood so you just note it down and just understand it with a uh by learning and by listening this lecture lecture if you like it please do comment in the below comment box right so thank you thank you so much